subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. The William Pace Show, asking the questions you want to ask, getting the answers everyone wants to know. It's a new season of the William Pace Show. We're raising the bar with more commitment to educate, inform, encourage, inspire, empower, and help you have your best life. Everyone deserves to have their best life. I'm just staying the course. Here we go. The following is produced and paid for by Barton Productions. Barton Productions, producing quality TV programming for 10 years. In addition, we produce documentaries, corporate videos, commercials, and much more. Call Barton Productions today at 275-0150. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pay Show. Good evening, I'm William Pace. Thanks so much for tuning us in tonight. Tonight my guests are Robert Walker from the Wesley Community Center, Kevin Paul from Mobile Medical, and Dr. Eric Winston and Dr. Emeka Elmora from Wilberforce University. Because of the big, big show tonight, we won't be reading letters, but still we would love to hear from you. To write to the William Pace Show, write to P.O. Box 3644. Dayton, Ohio, 45401. If your letter is chosen to be read on the air, you'll receive a gift from the William Pace Show. We're starting something new on the show, a contest, and you could be the lucky winner. We're going to be giving away a guitar and free music lessons, compliments of our big, big sponsor, Music Go Round. Here's how you can enter the contest. Send your name, address, and phone number to the William Pace Show, P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio, 45401. You could be the lucky winner. Coming up next, conversation with Robert Walker from the Wesley Community Center. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. I'm happy to announce that I'm starting the William Pace Happy Holiday Fund to benefit the Wesley Community Center. And my guest tonight is Robert Walker, the director of the Wesley Community Center. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. As you know, I grew up on the west side of Dayton. And at that time, Wesley Community Center was located on West 3rd Street and Kilmer Street in a church. And it was there that I was able to get involved in so many positive programs. I was involved in Theater West Productions. And uh, without the Wesley Community Center, I wonder 
how well I might have turned out. So I've decided to give back a little bit to, to the Westlake Community Center by starting this William Pace Happy Holiday Christmas Fund. And so many things are needed. Uh, we, we plan to have the date to give the items away, December 18th. But what we need from you, the viewers, we need contributions of food, any kind, canned goods. Um, we need toys for children. We need clothing. And we need funds. If you would like to make a contribution to the William Pace Happy Holiday Christmas Fund to benefit the Wesley Community Center, make checks payable to the Rivers of Peace Foundation and mark on the check uh, for Wesley Community Center and send that to the William Pace Show, P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio 45401. And we'll have that address up, you know, throughout this interview so that you can get, get that. Uh, can you tell us the real reason, the importance of this fund, uh, Mr. Walker, that there are so many needs that are needed in the community that, that we, people just don't know. And so tell us a little bit about the needs in the, neighbor, in the neighborhood and the community. Sure, thank you, Bill. Uh, throughout the year, we've serviced between 250 and 300 families a month who are experiencing crisis. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and these are not uh, the st stereotypical kinds of families that we often think about uh, who need help. There are many families, uh, the new working poor, and there are a number of persons who have fallen through the uh, service delivery safety mm -hmm. net. And uh, we feel blessed that we are able to respond with clothing, food, and, and, and with some financial assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you know, the holiday season is always a traumatic time for many families who are, ex who, who, who are in, uh, and especially those who are experiencing crisis. Uh, you know, even I feel stressed sometimes during the holidays. During the holidays, right. Uh, but uh, this is an opportunity to ensure that any family in the city of Dayton who's experiencing crisis will have the basic necessities of life. Mm -hmm. food, clothing, uh, and shelter. But most importantly, that their children will have symbols of Christmas. Certainly. Uh, especially those 12 years, 12 years and under. Yes, we want them to know that Santa Claus still is here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's an image and a symbol that we've created. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's difficult for us to tell small children oh, that surely. that's not important. Surely. And I think that through your William Pace Ho Happy Holiday Fund, it will enable us to respond to each child and each family mm -hmm. within the Dayton community. Great. And also what's important, too, is that we, we need volunteers, people that will come out on December 18th to help us to uh, distribute um, the toys, food, and so forth. We'll be distributing things through that week, the 19th of December, the 20th, 21st, and uh, you could play a real role in making someone have a very nice Christmas this year. And as I mentioned earlier, earlier we do need funds, um, and you can send your funds to the William Pace Show, P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio, 45401, and make the check payable to the Rivers of Peace Foundation, and on the bottom part, the, me the memo part, write Wesley Community Center. I want to ask you about the upcoming events. There's always something going on at Wesley Community Center. Sure. Well, on October, during uh, the rest of October and, and, and for the rest of the uh, semester, our after-school program will be in full swing, and our primary uh, uh, activity is tutoring. Mm -hmm. uh, but as part of that, youngsters participate uh, in arts, the, the, the various arts, uh, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, gardening, and there are a number of other activities that they participate in. Uh, one of the things that I want to really lift up is that we provide transportation uh, for seniors to the nutrition sites in Montgomery County. And uh, if there is a person uh, over 60 years of age who's homebound or who would like to participate in one of the nutrition sites in Montgomery County, we provide transportation. So if they would give us a call and ask uh, for the transportation department, 
and that will give them an opportunity to get out of their homes and socialize with other mm -hmm. seniors and also to provide is an opportunity for them to get a well-balanced meal uh, each day and so that's an, that's another opportunity and our we have an active senior citizens program at the center as well with crafts and exercise ceramics and a number of other Bible study and a number of other activities on a daily basis uh, Mrs. Barbara Turner uh, Ponda is our senior activities uh, coordinator and you can give her a call at 263-3556 and she'll be glad to share additional information about our, our work with senior citizens. Mm -hmm. and we also have a, a tremendous work with the teenagers in the community uh, through our project Harambe and Herb Gates uh, work with youngsters each afternoon from 5 to 8 o'clock and so uh, we would invite uh, teenagers, and, and that's more peer group counseling, and also helping youngsters to deal with day-to-day -day living uh, issues. And we're real pleased with that program and uh, feel that it reach, uh, it's meeting a real need in our community as well. Wonderful. So you see, folks, uh, Westlake Community Center, they do a great work in our community. And again, I ask you for your support uh, with the William Pace Happy Holiday Fund to benefit the Wesley Community Center. Please send all your contributions to the William Pace Show, P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio, 45401. Or if you would like to have more information, just call me at 275-7629. I have a little gift for you, Mr. Walker. And uh, it's a gift certificate to My Young Song Restaurant Wonderful. in the Huber Heights. Wonderful. There's more to come. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There is always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. Are you stressed out these days and looking for ways to relieve stress? Are you in pain? Well, tonight we have a few answers for you because my guest is Kevin Paul from Mobile Medical Massage. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thank you for having me, Mr. Pace. How long have you been in, in the therapeutic massage business? I've been licensed for almost 13 years. And actually, I started as a young man. Uh, so actually, I've been practicing therapeutic massage for about 28 years. Mm -hmm. How did you get started? Uh, when I was 13, 14 years old, I found out that massage uh, could relieve headaches. Mm -hmm. So even in high school, I was working on people. When they would get a headache, then I'd go ahead and get rid of it. So uh, in my late 20s, I decided to go to school for it full time after some uh, work in the psychology area. And so I've been working ever since, uh, working primarily with pain patients. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the places you go? Where do you go? Well, I've worked at a number of different places in the sense of experiencing different uh, types of clients uh, to work with. I've worked with an MD, I've worked with an osteopath, and I've worked with a chiropractor. Um, also worked at uh, Holiday Health Spa when they were in existence. And so I have worked with athletes and have worked with entertainers through town. Mm -hmm. um, presently, a large part of my business consists of paying uh, clients that come to my office. Uh, I also do offer a mobile service uh, for those that are not able to go get to the office or that wish to just enjoy relaxation afterwards without driving. Tell us a little bit about your mobile services. Uh, mobile service is something that I found out that Dayton needed when I moved here from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. uh, no one was addressing that, and so I created a mobile service uh, to provide that in people's homes and or uh, hotel uh, for business people coming through town, and then I ended up working on various entertainers that had come through town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of, of, of people do you see for mm -hmm. stress and pain and so forth? Probably at least half of my clients presently are motivated 
for massage therapy by pain. Uh, and that may cover everything from headaches, migraines and, and regular headaches, to bursar bursitis, arthritis, tendonitis. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I've worked on stroke victims, I've worked on kids with cerebral palsy, people after car accidents, just quite a wide mm -hmm. variety. Um, generally, about 80% of your pain is from the musculoskeletal system. So other than physiological problems, uh, bulging discs and that kind of problem, uh, unless it's actually the physical body that is broken or causing the pain, then about 80% of the time then I can make significant changes. Mm -hmm. I understand that you use music a lot in, in the therapy. I find Why? I, I find that it's important to kind of help people shift from their ordinary worries and concerns uh, and by playing uh, light music, nothing that you're going to tap your toes to, <laughs> just kind of dreamy, floaty kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, from my background in psychology, I found that that helps people shift. And as their mind kind of drifts, then their body uh, finds it easier to relax. Mm -hmm. Now, there's different kinds of therapeutic massages. You want to tell us about the different mm -hmm. kinds? There's quite a variety. Uh, actually, there are several thousand years worth of massage history. Almost every culture has had some type of manual um, approaches to resolving pain. I think it started way back when the first caveman stubbed his toe and reached down and rubbed it. <laughs> I think most of us have had the experience of having sore shoulders and, mm -hmm. and rubbing them or having someone rub our shoulders for us uh, to relieve discomfort. Um, but actually, um, I've received training in a number of different techniques, including Russian massage, a little bit of uh, Traeger, which is a real gentle motion. Uh, Swedish massage is what all the Ohio massage therapists are trained in. Um, we've been medically licensed for over 80 years in the state of Ohio, mm -hmm. which is the only state in the country that actually massage uh, is licensed by the state medical board. It's the only one in the mm -hmm. country. So we have a long professional history in Ohio. Do you think today with uh, people be, being so hurried, rushed, and uh, that, that has caused so many of the problems that we have, that we hear about in society today. And do you feel that if, if, if they were to take some form of therapeutic massage that it would solve some of the problems that we have today? There's a number of different things involved there. And, and one of the examples I give is if you've been driving on the highway at 70 miles an hour, slightly over the speed limit, all day long, and you pull off and the first thing you run into is a school zone, it's very difficult to slow down to that 15 or 20 miles an hour for all the school mm -hmm. children. Um, whereas if you've been driving 35 miles an hour in the uh, city, it's really not a big deal to slow down. Mm -hmm. Most of us wake up with an alarm clock. Our feet hit the floor <laughs> and we're going literally 70 miles an hour all day long. Mm -hmm. And so when we go to shift at night to slow down, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Whereas with massage, what it does is it gives you kind of a baseline to realize, ah, that's what relaxation feels like. But most mm -hmm. of us have forgotten how to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, children are very good at it. You'll see them all wound up and they're playing in the other mm -hmm. room and all of a sudden it's deadly quiet in there. So you go to find out what's happening, you find out they've fallen asleep. Adults don't quite have that ability anymore. Mm -hmm. So what I find is that people that undergo regular massage kind of attain a new baseline to realize what relaxed is and that way when they start getting stressed, when they start finding that their system is more wound up than they would like, they've got something to compare it to instead of driving that literal, literally 70 miles an hour all mm -hmm. day long. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you for coming on and giving us this information. Um, you want to give us a phone number where we can contact Mobile Medical Massage? Sure. I'm located on North Main Street at 2633 North Main, mm -hmm. um, but I do provide uh, massage services to the general Dayton area. My number is 277-5400, and if you have any questions, I hope you'll give a call because I'd be happy to discuss any uh, questions you may have about massage therapy, its effectiveness, or any way that I can be of help. Great. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. I have a little gift for you to Ginger Jar Antiques up Great. in Huber Heights. Great. Thanks so much Thank for coming on Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. There's more to come. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. 
some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning us in tonight. Tonight I'm going back to my college days, so to speak. My guests tonight are Dr. Eric Winston. He's the Vice President for Development at Wilberforce University. And Dr. Mecca Amora, who's the Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs and also the CLIMB program at Wilberforce too. Thank you so much for coming on the program tonight. Thank you for having us. Glad to be I, here. I understand that you're just back from the Institute of the African American uh, Israel Exchange. Right, right. Tell me about that program. Well, the Institute was created at Wilberforce University in 1988, mm -hmm. and it's a program where students at Wilberforce go to the state of Israel and now we've expanded that program into Egypt, but they go and they uh, study academically at one of the universities in Israel. They also uh, learn about the history of the kibbutz movement in Israel, mm. which is a commune, mm -hmm. and they also uh, provide community service by teaching in a, a community, in several community centers, uh, working with uh, youth who are considered to be in that country disadvantaged or at-risk youth. Mm -hmm. uh, they teach English by conducting a summer camp experience. In Egypt, uh, our program revolves around students working at various uh, community organizations and getting uh, to understand a little bit about the history and the political and economic conditions of, in quite frankly, both countries. That's, that's the basis of the, of the mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said, we've been doing that since 1988. This summer, we took a group of alumni and donors with us on this trip. I see. And uh, we don't call it a trip because whenever you go to the state of Israel and you take any more than two to three people, you are considered to be on a mission Absolutely. or a part of a delegation. Mm -hmm. And so what you have to do is you have to learn that the, the, the language of the country where you're going. So as a result, we no longer refer to our uh, visits as trips that they are now missions and delegations because mm -hmm. we have specific purposes that we go there for. How many people went from? We had about 20 in this group. 20? Uh, uh, about 20, including five of us who were with the university administration. Uh, we had alumni, we had donors, uh, people who, uh, organizations that donate to the university, and, um, and then members of our alumni association. I see. We're planning a similar uh, mission uh, next summer that will begin on the 9th of July through the 21st of July. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are inviting not only Wilberforce uh, alumni, but uh, we'll also be contacting some of the area churches and, and having uh, providing opportunities for local residents to participate also. We, we'd like to get our group up to about 40, which would be about the same size as a bus. Now, I understand you have a picture to show us. Yes, uh, this is a picture here, um, and I'm sure they'll zero in on it, but this is a picture of our group uh, at the, um, in the old city of Jerusalem, overlooking the old city of mm -hmm. Jerusalem, and um, very beautiful sight. And then those who've been to the, to the Holy Land, as we call it, will, will recognize uh, the Dome of the Rock here in this picture and also... Uh, recognize the fact that uh, Jerusalem is probably one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Mm. And so I'll, I'll give this to you. And well, thank you. you. Hold on to it. Thank you. Right. Uh, Dr. Moore, uh, tell us a little bit about the CLIMB program. Any new developments for this year? Yes, uh, the CLIMB program continues to thrive very well. Uh, we've expanded, as you know, into Columbus. And uh, on the 25th of this month, we are going to add a new major, the healthcare administration, uh, the first group of uh, the first group of the students enrolling into that program, the healthcare services or healthcare administration, will actually register on the 25th in Columbus. So mm -hmm. we are quite thrilled, and we hope to be in Cincinnati also. Oh, uh, Cincinnati too. Probably before the end of the year. Uh, so we are really excited. Now tell the viewers what CLIMB is all about. CLIMB is the adult degree program, uh, and that, the word CLIMB is the acronym for 
credentials in leadership, in management and business. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've, uh, we started it at Wilberforce University back in 1991. Uh, as of today, as of this particular semester, we've graduated well over uh, 150 students. And we are quite proud of the program. It's a quality program, as you well know, and uh, um, graduates or prospective students come from all over the place in Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really a solid program, uh, open for adults. Wonderful. Give us a phone number for the viewers so that they can uh, contact you. Right. The telephone number is 937-376-2911, extension 324, or extension 705. Great. Wonderful. I have a little gift for you for coming on the program tonight to the restaurant, My Young Song in Huber Heights. And I want to thank you, Dr. Winston, thank for you, coming sir. on. Appreciate and that. Dr. Mora, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you so much for giving me such a wonderful uh, education there at Wilberforce. Um, definitely, um, I could not be where I am today without that, that schooling. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. There is more to come. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to The William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. I'm happy to announce that I'm starting the William Pace Happy Holiday Fund to benefit the Wesley Community Center. To send your financial contributions, send them to the William Pace Show, P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio 45401. And make all checks and money orders payable to the Rivers of Peace Foundation to benefit the Wesley Community Center. Gotta go, but I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. This has been a Barton production. During uh, the rest of October and, and, and for the rest of the uh, uh, semester, our I want to ask you about the upcoming events. There's always something going on at Wesley Community Center. Sure.
contacting some of the area churches and, and having um, providing opportunities for our local residents to participate also. We, we'd like to get our group up to about four here um, and I'm sure they'll zero in on it but this is a picture of our group uh, at the um, in the old city of Jerusalem over, over, over to, to participate also we, we'd like to get our group up to about 40 which would be about the same size as a bus Now, I understand you have a picture to show us. Yes, uh, the old city of mm -hmm. Jerusalem, and um, very beautiful site. And then those who've been to the to the Holy Land, as we call it, will will recognize uh, the Dome of the Rock here in this picture, and also uh, recognize the fact that Jerusalem is probably one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Mm. So I'll I'll give this to you, and well, thank you. you. Can hold on to it. Thank you. Right. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you.